My name is Martin. I'm one of the online support specialists here at Easily, and today I'm going to run through with you how to set up Entourage on your Mac. So let's begin. First things first, make sure you've got Entourage open. Once you've done that, you just need to go to Tools and then Accounts. In the window that opens up, you simply need to click on New, and then once I move this here, for this purpose I'm going to set up IMAP but your settings will run in exactly the same method, whether it's IMAP or POP. From there, you would just click on OK. Let's just move this up here. And first things first, let's set up an account name. For me, I'm just going to call it test. Nice and easy. Next step is to go through and put in your name. In this case, I have a test account, so I'm just going to put that in. Next you would put in the email address. So in this case I put in this and once you've done that you would then go on to account ID which in this case is going to be the username that you had received when in the email that we had sent out to you. So you would simply type that in and then you go on to the next line. In this case, my IMAP server, or in your case you might have it as the POP server, will be this. Everybody has a slightly different mail server when it comes to the settings that they are provided, so you just need to consult the email that you received from us. Next step is to just go through and type in your password. So you'd simply put that in there, and as you can see it ticks the box there without a problem. Next and everybody's SMTP server is exactly the same. It's smtp.easily.co.uk. Once you've done that, you just click on this box here. You can either leave this box unticked and have it on port 25, or you can put a tick in the box and set it to 1025. From there, you would simply tick the box next to it put a dot in use same settings as my receiving mail server and just click this little box here to close that you would then click on OK and your account set up and you're ready to receive mail so I just close that and that's it if you've got any problems you're more than welcome to call our support desk and we'll be able to run through it with you over the phone as well thanks very much for watching the video